Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Ministerial screening. My father is not proud of my disrespectful tweets. Terju Bosu gives full details. Remember some time ago, this young man, you know, tweeted and really abused, you know, um, those members of the Senate and government parastatus saying, you guys are not doing well. And he said all kinds of things. Guess what? Today, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has nominated him as one of the senators. And like the uh, saying goes, he needs to go through a screening and is apologizing for what he did some time ago. So many people have spoken about, uh, speaking against him, saying that he didn't do well. So many things are going on and it's really happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Ministerial screening. My father is not proud of my disrespectful tweet. Tell Chubosu speaks. I mean heavy criticism from members of the Nigerian Senate and ministerial nominees. Bosu Tajuni bows to pressure and apologizes for his unpatriotic comments against the lawmakers back in 2021. Tajuni tendered his apology during his screening session at the Senate on Saturday. Kemi Falini News recalled that in 2021, Terju tweeted, describing Nigerian lawmakers as moles, people who are not serious and don't even understand the premise of their job. He said, distinguished senators, I was raised properly as a Yoruba boy in Agege and Abiokuta. I understand that we are not meant to disrespect our elders, which is not the training we were given. My father won't be proud of me for all those things and allegations. So I want to profoundly apologize to everyone in this hall, including anyone in Nigeria who may have been offended by anything I said. Recall that President Tinubu on two different occasions sent 48 list, member list to the Senate for confirmation. Terju's name happened to be one of them. But since his name came on that very list, I mean, uh, a lot of a lot of things have come up. A lot of people, you know, saying is not qualified. In fact, our sister, okay, our very own sister Aisha, Aisha has also apologized on his behalf, saying those who are criticizing the young man do not even understand the premise of, you know, people who are for a good government. She went as far to say that even when, you know, Tinubu's uh, government is nullified by the court. Say by the end of the court, for instance, they say, oh, Tinubu, it's time to pack your load and go. He said, Terju will still be in the, Bosun will still be in the next government, you know, uh, whichever government comes in because he's a young man with a lot of ideas, technocrafts, somebody who really, you know, knows what he's doing, uh, has a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of things to offer. And such a man should be given an opportunity, you know. So uh, even Aisha spoke about him, you know, very highly saying it is high time Nigerians begin to understand that you cannot, you know, um, leave this man just because he made some mistakes back then. So the Senate, you know, he came there apologizing and saying to them, I am sorry, very sorry for what I said some time ago. My papa not train me like that. He not to make a day, make a day insulted as he say, what I do now, just small picking talk. You know what small picking day? He did do something. He say you go forgive me and you go think away, you go forgive me. So now so tell you call talk, say where well, say forgiveness is in order. They not talk with the house, give the house said in response whatever now so we do see and tell you don't apologize nigerians don't hear we go call no whether that senate agree you know um agree alarm and say okay we we'll see make it go so now there we did right now we are watching and we are waiting patiently to see you know uh how things are going to play out in the next uh, couple of um you know couple of days because um, this is a time for every single person to understand the days that we are in the senate is screening members of the uh, you know ministerial nominees 
the list that has been sent, you know, so screening is in order, screening is ongoing, and many more people are coming up with, you know, with their uh, position to understand, you know, what will be happening in the next couple of days, uh, stroke months. And don't forget that there is still very much presidential election uh, matters going on, and every single person is waiting patiently to see how these things will play out. So we are here today waiting patiently to see how things are. And um, we just want Nigerians to understand that whoever is being nominated, uh, such an individual, uh, you know, may have something to offer. And so we cannot afford, okay, to just sit back there and say, you know, all is uh, done and dusted and that's it. Okay. And so we just have to keep pushing and ensuring that we have the right persons the right people, because at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, every single person will have to give account, okay, every single person will have to give account, and uh, we, we want this nation to be in such a better position that, you know, we can be comfortable, okay, uh, if, if people have got the, the technical skills to support a government to bring things, you know, right in place, I think it is important that we support them uh, no matter what uh, and bring them you know, to that place where they could deliver and bring this nation right where it's supposed to be. So this is exactly what is happening right now. And every single individual is watching carefully to see you know, what Senate will say about Teju. If um, they will say, oh, okay, he's, he's apologized, so be it. We don't know yet. So we're waiting patiently to see what next. So it is what it is. And if there's any time, okay, where people should make, pay a uh, great focus attention and understand, you know, the premise of our nation and ensure that the building of our nation is in our hands and we are all appropriating that adequately. I think it's now, okay? I, th I think it's now. So this is what is happening. Our brother Teju has apologized and every single person, you know, I've heard uh, but we're waiting for the Senate confirmation to understand, you know, the next uh, point of call. So whatever it is, it, it's right now, like they will say, the ball is in our courts, uh, but really not in your court, really. It's in the hands of the Senate to look at these things and understand, you know, where this, uh, where this young man, uh, what's, what are his chances and what could possibly be, you know, his chance going forward. So this is what is happening. This is where we are at, and uh, we're looking forward to the next couple of days. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now.